What's going on guys? We're here this morning to talk about tripods. Specifically, my new one for use with the uh, tabletop. So we're here to talk about the Ulanzi MT29 compact carbon fiber tripod. Has your tripod ever left you down? Have you ever failed to get it up in a reasonable amount of time? Have you ever just been frustrated? Well, search no more. I'm not a professional YouTube reviewer. I'm just a guy who likes tripods and I like gear. So I'm here to talk about it. This is not sponsored. I bought this with my own money. So my, my feel, my views are my thoughts. Let's get it. First off, this thing is beautifully packaged. First thing we're going to discuss is the ball head. I'm going to fire up the old scale here. I want to show you how easy this is to use. Quarter of a turn, move it anywhere you want. Lock it in and you're done. This doesn't take a lot of force. Second, this uses a Swiss Arca plate, and a Swiss Arca plate is probably my favorite way to mount a camera well, pretty much ever. So, there's already a bunch of reviews about this particular um, tripod. I'm just going to hit on some of the things that I feel other reviewers have missed, right? It's 158 grams for the ball head. 175 with the plate. Let's convert it over to ounces for my American friends. 5.6 ounces, 6.2 ounces with the Swiss plate. This thing is absolutely incredible. It does everything that I want it to do. This little red lever right here gives you a pan that is dampened and very smooth. Check out the details on this. This thing is beautifully machined. Really is. Really nice tripod. One of the couple of cool little features that people have remarked on, but I feel hasn't really been mentioned by some of the reviewers. You may not know this if you're unfamiliar with the Swiss Arca plate system. So the first thing I want to hit on is if you look right here, this little part is threaded. So when you put this screw in and out, if you change it out, maybe you want a thumb screw, right? You can do that. You can use any quarter 20 threaded fastener that will hit that length requirement. So it's very easy to get parts for this. You can go to Ace Hardware. You can go anywhere in the world, literally, and get parts. They're all standard metric parts. You're not beholden to Ulanzi. You're good to go. Second thing we want to talk about. See these two little screws? These two little screws act as a safety stop. So when you have this in, it's just a little bit of an extra step to help you to prevent dropping your camera. Now, you can remove these if you need, for example, a longer range of adjustment, right? Completely customizable. They give you the hex keys in the set so that you can do all of the maintenance on this tripod yourself. Now let's talk about the tripod. This is the MT28 tripod. When you buy it with the U120 ball head, it comes together packaged, which makes the MT29 part number. This thing is gorgeous. Check this out. It's got a quarter 20 thread, very nice anti-slip silicone pad, machined aluminum, carbon fiber legs. It's very light. <clears throat> now, let's talk limitations for a moment. One of the limitations of this tripod is with this ball head, you're limited to three kilos. That's about 6.6 .6 pounds, and that's a lot of weight. Second limitation, 
These legs lock in, however, this is not a friction lock. So it's either this long or it's this long. But what you trade in a little bit of versatility you gain because look at that. That is a threaded lock. When this thing is extended, it is mechanically locked. Not going anywhere. This is about 15 pounds of force right here. And as you can see, it's taking it quite well. So if you need to go more than three kilos, you're gonna be limited to straight on shots only. Set up and take down is just that quick. Alrighty, so now we're gonna talk about the weight of the tripod. 158 grams. So this and the ball head with the adapter plate are basically the same weight. 5.6 ounces for my fellow Americans. Total system weight of 11.7 ounces or 333 grams. Not bad. Let's get this thing out of the way. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna put this together and we're gonna show you what it looks like. One of the other things to note is on this pad here, you see this, this bump, this machined ridge? What that does is make sure that when you install it onto the camera body, it stays square. There are lines that go around it that you can use with the lines running around the side here, these degrees. So when you're planning a pan, and you know I need to start here and end here, you have a pretty good visual reference for that. So let's go ahead and install this. My right hand is a little bit weak. I had surgery on it. They installed some titanium plates. So I do apologize if I'm fumbling a bit. So now you're just gonna put that flat edge that I mentioned earlier, flush up against the body of the camera. Another limitation, when you set it down with this plate installed, it is not gonna sit level, okay? So when you do set your camera down, make sure you set it into your tripod. Just a quick and simple, thread it on, All right, this is one of the things I love about the Arca Swiss plates. That's it. That's all the amount of force that it takes to lock your camera into the perfect shot. Now I'm using this on a ZV-1 just because I'm filming you on my other nice camera, but trust me, it'll take it. And let's say there's a situation where you have it, maybe it's not fully snugged up, that's where those safety stop screws come into play because as you can see your camera is not going to fall out and I don't care how big your camera is it's not going to fall out of there I mean never say never but I trust it so one of the limitations of this ball head is that there is no level so how do we overcome that Get you one of these. Pops right into your hot or cold shoe, and now you know that you're leveled out. Bam. See how easy that is to adjust? Very firm, very precise. We also have an additional cold shoe mount right here on the side. Check that out. This gives you options. Let's say you have a shotgun mic. Click it in and away you go. Maybe you got a small light, bam, put it in there. Maybe you got an extra battery pack or something that you want to run your camera off. There you go. 
So now we're going to talk height. This tripod has four positions, okay? We're going to start at the lowest and work our way to the tallest. Rotate this lock ring right here. And this is now the lowest possible position. I'm going to give you measurements in centimeters and inches, and I'm going to give you measurements to the lock ring without the ball head, and I'm going to give you measurements to the bottom of the Swiss Arca plate. So the first measurement in inches is about two, two and a quarter inches to the uh, base plate, which is five and a half centimeters. And then to the Arca Swiss plate with the ball head, we're at four and three quarter inches or 12 centimeters. Next position. And by the way, where would you use this when you need a nice low shot and you just don't want to put your camera on the ground? That's probably the best scenario. This is position number two. You see how quickly this adjusts? Where would you want to use this? Well, you're going to want to use this if you've got a bigger lens or maybe a heavier lens. Some of those Canon EFs, Sony G Masters, looking at you. As you can see, it's very stable. It's not going to go anywhere, and this gives you a very low center of gravity. So let's take the measurement. We are just a little bit over three inches. I'll call it about three and an eighth inch. And that is about eight centimeters. And that's, again, to the base plate. And to the bottom of the Swiss Arca plate, it is five and three quarter inches or 14 centimeters. So a little bit of a height difference, but not a great difference. Still great angle for those low shots. And again, you can position this thing anywhere you want just that quickly. Level it out just that quickly. Having this little bubble level up there really helps a lot. So now we're going to go into position number three. This is the tallest standing position that this tripod offers. Seven and a half inches to the base plate, 19 and a half centimeters, and then up to the Arca plate, it is 10 inches and 25 and a half centimeters. So pretty good, especially if you're wanting to do like a nice downward shot on your table. Maybe you're doing a DIY video. There you go. Time for the last height. It adjusts just that quick. <clears throat> this is where I suspect 90% of your use cases are going to be. So we're at four and three quarter inches or 12 centimeters and then up to the bottom of the Swiss plate we're at seven and one quarter inches or 18 centimeters. For comparison you're being filmed on a Sony Bluetooth uh, creator handle that comes with the ZV-1 that I bought and that one is five and one quarter inches. So when we get you set up on the A7C and I move the A7C over here, I'm gonna show you what the pan and tilt look like. One of the other questions that I think a lot of you guys are interested in is, can you vlog with this tripod? And I'm gonna answer that question right now. So I've got you all set up on the A7C. I'm just gonna extend the legs out real quick. So here we are, and we're vlogging with an A7C and a Tamron 17 to 28. That's 28 millimeter at full extension. Back to 17. If you don't extend the legs out, you get a little bit less reach, but it's still quite a usable image. So yes, you can vlog with it. So now that we've answered the vlog question, let me show you what this looks like with all in-body stabilization turned off. See what I mean about a nice buttery smooth pan? That's pretty good. I'm actually doing this with my broken hand right now. 
So that, if anything, should tell you just how nice and smooth it really is. So that sums up the Lonzi MT-29 tripod and ball head combo. You can purchase the MT-28 and the U120 ball head separately through Ulanzi. I'll leave some links down below. If you want to buy the whole kit, I'll leave some Amazon links below. Doesn't cost you anything extra, gives me a little kickback, helps me keep buying stuff and reviewing stuff for you guys. So this is Byron from ETA, and y'all have a great rest of your day.